guys, so today's video is going to be one that I was long anticipated on my channel, which is the If You Like Jane Austen. Um, I've decided to do it where I give a book recommendation for each of Jane Austen's six works, um, just so that way I can kind of get into underlying themes and like connect it to a work. Um, I do have another announcement that I am starting up a second channel called Questable, which I will leave a link in the description. Um, it's going to be for mostly nerd things like comic books and video game playthroughs, video game reviews and like that kind of stuff. Um, I did try and do the comic book wrap up on this channel and I think most people are here for classics so I just decided to do it into two separate channels just so that way you know there's a little bit more definition on what you're going to get on each channel. So on to the Jane Austen books. Starting with one of my least favorite Austens, which is Mansfield Park, I just find Fanny Price to be kind of unlikable. Um, I picked the book for this because the underlying themes in this are like difficulty, difficult family situations. Um, so I chose The Warden by Anthony Trollope. Um, I have talked about this video. I think I get, did a full review of this. Um, not my favorite book, but I think it fits really well with if you like Mansfield Park. Um, the family situations are really complex and also it kind of influences the love story a little bit so that's, that's they seem to fit well together. Next up is one of my favorites which is Persuasion. Um, the underlying th themes I picked out are love getting a second chance um, and I chose to recommend A Room with a View by Ian e. Forrester. I love both of these books. Um, so like Persuasion, A Room with a View does have a second chance love story. I quite enjoy both so I would highly recommend that. Next up is Sense and Sensibility and the underlying themes I picked up is love triangles. That's that's kind of what I got from this. Um, love triangles and love gone wrong. Um, so I picked Far From the Matting Crowd by Thomas Hardy. Um, I did do a review for this I think in the Penguin English Library like batch reviews so you guys can go and check that video out if you want to see my full review of this but yes there is definitely love there's actually love like square in this a little bit um, and like choosing the wrong love first so that's kind of what I went with for that one. Next up is Emma which is another of my not very favorite Austens. I do need to reread this because I just, I read them all at the same time so I kind of want to revisit it. Um, it's also I think the longest Austen. It feels the heaviest anyways. Um, and I chose like spoiled heiress making mistakes as my underlying theme for this and I chose The Tenant of Wildfell Hall by Anne Bronte. Um, probably one of my favorite books that I read last year. Um, it definitely was in my 2014 favorite books. Um, yeah, definitely check this out if you like spoiled heiresses making mistakes and then having to fix it. Next up is Northanger Abbey, which the underlying theme I chose for this one is like kind of mocking the gothic genre um, and I chose Villette by Charlotte Bronte to go with this one. Um, the reason I chose Villette is it's kind of subtle but I think it's fantastic in the way that Charlotte Bronte mocks and subverts the gothic genre the same way that Northanger Abbey does. Um, so if you kind of like that about Northanger Abbey check out Villette. I'm also realizing that all the books that I'm suggesting are Penguin English Library editions. Um, and finally, my favorite Austin, which is Pride and Prejudice. It's also my first Austin. I reread this every year in September. Um, yeah, I love these editions, by the way. These are the vintage classic editions, and they're just stunning. They have on the inside, um, the end papers are from a different book. Um, they're just absolutely beautiful. So for this, I picked on like love turning or hate turning to love in romantic relationships, like the Elizabeth Darcy relationship, and I chose no surprise to anyone, North and South by Elizabeth Gaskell. The relationship between Margaret Hale and um, Mr. Thornton definitely kind of reflects Elizabeth and Mr. Darcy. They even kind of sound the same, Mr. Thornton and Margaret Hale. You like get the lady's first full name and then the man is called Mr. Um, but yeah, so those are the Jane Austen novels I would recommend and just a reminder to check out my channel Questable if you're into video games and like comic books and I will see you guys next week with another video. Bye!